Hey, what's up guys? Pokemon Freak here and they just released the update notes a few hours ago. So right now what we're going to do is we're going to go over them. I'm going to try to do my best to um, tell you guys what this means for engineering. Because again, it doesn't really seem like engineering is over just yet. But yeah, let's just take a look at the notes real quick. So I'm just going to read them to you guys and then I'm going to tell you guys what I think they mean. As we have said in the past, one of our most important goals is matchmaking for clan wars. It's to ensure that each clan is more evenly matched against the other. While we have made changes and updates to our matchmaking algorithm over time, we also understand much more needed to be done to provide an enjoyable war experience while preventing one clan from having a major advantage over the other. We wanted to share with you that we are making improvements to how the algorithm function in order to address engineered bases in the matchmaking future. This new functionality will take more into account as far as total weight is concerned with regards to both defense and offense. What this means for you is that your clan will be more evenly matched against other clans that have similar builds. One of the challenges in creating a matchmaking system is to allow players to retain their creativity in their base design and play style. We wanted to make sure that your strategies are not invalid just more evenly matched against others who share your play style our improved algorithm is an ev evolutionary step in making sure clans will be matched more frequently against opponents of equivalent difficulty furthermore we have also built in a certain degree of flexibility into the new system that allows us to fine-tune the matchmaking weight as needed this will allow us to monitor the matchmaking make changes changes if we feel the weights are either too heavy or not heavy enough the matchmaking algorithm is still currently in development and as it's slated for a near future release but we wanted to make sure we communicated this to you all and let you know that ensuring an enjoyable clan war is just as important to us as it is to you. All right, guys. So I highlighted a few parts that I thought were important because I thought it was interesting how they worded this post. But uh, let's get to it. So first, we're going to take a look at the second paragraph. And this is something I had already told you guys that they were going to end up adding a uh, troop weight into your overall weight. And like I told you guys... This was going to be used to knock out those high-level engineers. And that's why we engineer the way we do, so we don't unlock all our troops and we can't be waited for that. And also the next thing, like I said, um, it wasn't really a nerf as much as they're going to start pairing up engineers against engineers. And this is pretty much what the second paragraph says. Also, the other thing, I just, I had a, uh, somebody posted a comment on one of my videos saying that, uh, we're going to be seeing Max Town Hall 11. No, that's not true. Basically, what this means is you're going to be seeing a lot more engineers. And if you're not seeing engineers, you're going to see somebody that can mirror your attack or your offense. And this strategy could be game breaking because, um, again, it could lead to a lot of players maxing out their defenses first and leaving their offense like at a Town Hall 9 offense, having Town Hall 11 defense and, you know, this could lead to a lot of um, mismatches, but, you know, who knows how this is going to work. So we just got to wait till the final thing actually gets released. But let's go on. Let's move on to paragraph three. And as you guys can see here, and as you guys can see in the highlighted part, uh, Supercell calls it a strategy. And yeah, even they think it was a strategy. They knew it wasn't, you know, cheating because, again, it wasn't their fault it wasn't anybody's fault that engineering ended up being so powerful because again it is a strategy it is another way to play the game and even they say it that it's another way to play the game it's not necessarily you know the way they intended for the game to be playing but also they didn't call it cheating it was still a fair thing to do and right now they're just putting more emphasis on engineers so now engineers are going to be going up against more engineers and that's what basically this highlighted part or the first highlighted part is saying so right there, they basically just said that they're okay with engineering, that they're willing to keep it. They're just going to try to figure out a fair way to keep engineering in the game without breaking the game too much. And also it goes more into detail on how this is going to work. But as you guys can look over at the end, at the last part that's highlighted, they say that they're going to have some flexibility to mess around with the matchmaking system. And that goes because they know they can't fix engineering. So they're going to have to tweak it a little here and there so engineers could be paired up with more engineers. 
or so you know they could kill off engineering completely but i don't think that's ever gonna happen so yeah guys i don't think engineer is engineering is ever gonna get fixed so we're still good as far as we're going the way we're engineering we're still good again nothing's gonna happen to engineers and it doesn't look like this is gonna affect our clan very much so if you haven't unlocked all your troops you're still good and again the way we're engineering is a whole different way of engineering we're technically still like rushed a rushed base so we might be seeing a lot more rushed bases in our clan war but yeah guys that's pretty much it and again they could never fix engineering the way we engineer especially because we have low offense and low defense so even if they were to add our offense to our defense we'd still be in the low we still be low because, again, we haven't unlocked all our troops. On Panda, we only unlocked the balloons to level 4 right now. So right now, he technically has a, well, with just level 4 balloons, that's level 7. But everything else, level 1. So I'm putting them, like, at a town hall, maybe 4-way offense-wise. And defense-wise, again, it's maybe, like, a town hall 2 or 3. If you guys have any questions or any doubts about the update, please leave a comment down below. I'll be more than glad to help you guys out. I know I rushed this and I probably didn't explain this right. I don't know if you guys understood, but feel free to ask anything. But yeah, guys, if you guys like what you saw, please hit that like button. You guys don't want to miss my next video. Please hit that subscribe button and we'll just have to wait and see for the update, see what it does. But anyway, guys, Pokemon Freak out.